The pain of remembrance. At the town of Yingshu, close to the epicenter of the 2008 quake, the community comes together, five years to the day and to the very hour since the tragedy. In this one village alone, six and a half thousand people died, 40% of the population. The ruined school is both a memorial and a tomb to 19 students and two teachers still buried beneath the rubble. The collapse of so many schools filled with children at the time was one of the most heartbreaking aspects of the tragedy. It's also the source of lingering bitterness, as it was revealed many of them had been poorly constructed by corrupt officials who cut corners. In the neighboring town of Vechuan, Zhou Xin's daughter, who's now 10, was in kindergarten when the quake struck. She was one of only 20 children who survived, 130 did not. I lost my mother and brother-in-law five years ago. I keep missing them a lot. The Zhou family, like so many others, now live in the newly rebuilt Beichuan. The old part, now known as Earthquake Relic Town, is the destination for tour groups, and on this day, those who come to remember. Gradually, the schools that were the cause of so much controversy have also been replaced. Back in Yingshu, life for people like Yang Fu Lin has moved on. A driver at the time of the quake, he got a government subsidy to set up his own hostel and restaurant, which he now runs with his wife. The earthquake was definitely a big disaster for us, but to be honest, we have benefited a lot from the reconstruction. For many communities, the tragedy is becoming a fading memory. But for those who lost loved ones, especially their children, the memory will always be painful. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.